Hi, my name is Rain Baljack, and for my lifetime, I have suffered different symptoms and types of eczema, which motivates me to study my bachelor in health science with a focus on nutrition and exercise. And I have grown up in the fashion and beauty queen industry. I am Miss Cebu 2016. And so physical appearances, especially when they're not perfect, I can relate to how that is and how difficult it can be. And so that's why I'm doing this series, sharing some information to help alleviate symptoms in order to improve the quality of life in patients with eczema. So in this video, we are going to talk about dietary supplements. In the previous video, I talked about food and eczema. And after studying nutrition, biochemistry, looking at how food affects our bodies, I highly recommend that you observe or carefully watch how your body reacts to certain foods because it's not one size fits all. Everyone is very unique. And so the recommendations that I make in this video are based on what helped me with my eczema and I'm sharing it in hopes that they can help you. In this video, I'll be talking about supplements, and from the word alone, supplements are meant to be supplementary, which means they do not replace, or it's not what you only consume. You have to be consuming the nutrients in your diet already, and the supplements will enhance the absorption of the nutrient. In other words, it will optimize that nutrient absorption. There's a lot of research that I read, and from my own personal experience, probiotics is something that I diligently take every single morning after I wake up with a glass of water. Now, probiotics are very important for our body. Our GI tract, or our gut, includes our mouth, our esophagus, our stomach, our small and large intestine, and even our anus. And this GI tract it has a microbiome or the gut flora or microbiota. Now, inside this system, there are small little microorganisms that includes bacteria or fungi and viruses, and these are all just living there. And they live in the digestive tract of not just humans, but even in animals. And the role that probiotics plays is that they help keep a normal, healthy, balance of this bacteria in your gut, specifically the lining of the gut, which includes the microbiome. So probiotics, according to research, has been found to improve the immunity of the individual by maintaining the barrier of that gut lining, which helps prevent pathogens from sticking to the surface of your intestine which will allow you to have that strong immune system. Now, the other thing that probiotics does, aside from improving host immunity, is that it can also help treat certain diseases because when your gut flora is in a balanced state, then the nutrient absorption is optimized. And so you get to reap all the benefits so for example, I'll put it in context. You take your probiotics, your gut health is well balanced, and then what ends up happening? You eat a banana. And when you eat this banana, it has serotonin, and serotonin is the happy hormone. If your gut microbiome is not in a healthy state, your body is unable to digest that serotonin properly, and so you don't get the 100% of that banana. Maybe you only get like 70% of that serotonin, and you wonder why you're so sad. So take your probiotics so that you can eat bananas and be happy. <laughs> Another supplement that I recommend consuming is L-ascorbic acid, which is naturally present in fruits and vegetables like bell peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, white potatoes, citrus fruits like oranges, kiwi, lemon, grapefruit, or even found in cruciferous vegetables like your broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Now, vitamin C helps prevent cell damage, which improves the immune system. And in some vitamin C supplements, you can also find vitamin E, which has a similar function. 
In some vitamin C supplements, they also contain vitamin D. Now you can naturally get this from sunlight, but if you're someone who is stuck indoors because of your work life, or you live in a very cold, dark country, then make sure you get vitamin D to strengthen your bones and zinc. Zinc is also found in some dietary supplements of vitamin C. So they just come together in one. And zinc helps promote your skin health and it helps slow down your vision loss related to just aging, also known as macular degeneration. So take your vitamin C and also pay attention to the label for what other vitamins they contain. Another supplement I recommend taking is from the vitamin B family, and this is known as biotin, or vitamin B7. And this is naturally found in foods like eggs, milk, and bananas. If you're someone with a biotin deficiency, then it will cause a thinning of the hair and even rashes on the face. So if you take your biotin supplement, then it helps improve your skin's hydration, smoothness and appearance, as well as improving your hair strength and the treatment of hair loss, also known as alopecia. Next on the list is collagen, which is the main structural protein found in the extracellular matrix of the body's various connective tissues. To give an example, cartilage and tendons. I'm a rock climber. My joints in my fingers need to bend in order to hold the holds or hold a barbell when I weight lift. And without the strength in these areas, I would not be able to do these movements. And I enjoy these sports. They make me happy. So to, to now back it up with the science, collagen makes up 25 to 35% of our whole body's protein content. And that means it has an essential role in the structure, strength, and function of not just our connective tissues, but even our muscles, our bones, and especially in our skin. Now, in eczematous patients, there is a dysregulation with the immune system, and the first layer of our immune system is our skin. A natural occurring process of aging is that there is dead skin shedding. Now, the body needs to produce new cells to replace the dead shedding skills and skin, and that's where collagen comes into the picture because collagen will help in the production of new skin cells by replacing the dead ones. They also help increase skin hydration and they help in blood clotting, which is important, especially if you're scratching and you make an open wound, then collagen will help in the healing process. Last on the list is fish oil, which comes from consuming many types of fish, but not everyone has access to fish. So I recommend taking the supplement because there are two very important omega-3 fatty acids known as EPA and DHA, which come from fish oil. And your body needs these omega-3 fatty acids for many functions from muscle activity to cell growth, as well as supporting your heart health improved blood circulation, improved liver function, and that will decrease inflammation. So when it comes to eczema, you're very prone to red burning skin syndrome or inflammation, redness on the skin. And because fish oil improves the blood circulation, then what happens is it helps reduce inflammation to the area, which will improve the immune system as well as skin's healing process. So take your fish oil, eat your fish. So a brief summary, all of the supplements that I have recommended today, probiotics, vitamin C, D, E, zinc, biotin, collagen, fish oil, I actually consume all of these supplements myself. And as I mentioned earlier, these are supplementary. So make sure that you're consuming these nutrients also from your diet and the supplements will enhance the absorption of the nutrients. I tried my very best to explain these complex scientific concepts in easy to understand language, but if you still found it difficult, then leave a comment so I can help clarify, or you can request for another video if you would like more information. And if you found the information that I shared today helpful, then please give it a like or share it to someone who may benefit from it. Please hit subscribe so that I can see you in the next video. 
and you can stay tuned to more information on health, nutrition, fitness, and my wacky adventures. Each individual is very unique. We are different genders, ages, ethnicities, we have different lives, and for these reasons, we have different needs. And if you feel that you have more questions that you want to ask one on one, then don't be afraid to log on to my website to learn more about my consultancy services. If you scroll down, you'll find my one on one consultation service, which I conduct online or in person. And through these consultations, I will gather information about you in order to make the dietary recommendations specific to your individual needs. Finally, here's my reference list for all of the sources that I used in order to produce the video today. And you can read more here if you'd like to, and be sure to hit subscribe so that I see you in the next video.